Okay, I'm just good. interested. We saw recently the Irish under 17 sits so well in the Euros. Martin Roy were over there. Can you bring us back to your first memory as an underage international when you first wore the Ireland jersey and what it was like all those years ago? Yeah, look, I remember the first time I, I was told um, I was going to be in the Irish panel um, after the Kennedy Cup squad. We played up in Athlone for uh, semi finals and a final playoff again with North Dublin, Maine, Dublin, and Galway. And uh, we were told, oh, you're in the original squad. The next thing, I, uh, the squad was announced and I wasn't in it. <laughs> so uh, it, was, it was a great idea. I think my dad learned a lesson that day not, not to tell me anything until it was uh, official. Um, but no, the following year then, I, I was in, in the squads and uh, obviously look at the start of, start of a great journey and then to have that success from that European Championships um, that year was incredible, you know, and that, that got me on the path to professional career in Manchester, so it was an amazing, amazing start for me, you know. But it's one of them, you're, as you, when you're playing for a local team in, in Waterford, you're just thinking, right, let's enjoy it. But uh, my dad obviously had a big influence on me then, but... He was involved with the team, coaching and managing and doing a bit of doing a bit of everything. So it was uh, it was good for things to kind of kick on the way they did. Yeah, of course. I'm sure then you didn't really think that you maybe were going to get to the level you'd been at and played 118 times for your country. But when did you start to realise, as a young international, that you were quite good and that maybe you had a chance to go and play for your country at senior level? Um, I would look. You're always hoping that uh, it's a natural kind of progression when you're going through the, the phases of 16s to 18s, and um, and obviously you're hoping you don't stay too long at maybe under 21 football because you're hoping that you're progressing at kid level or uh, club level. Sorry, and if you can do that, then that's the natural progression, and that's what you hope for the senior team. In terms of the game tomorrow, how do you feel? You know, during national anthem, your last national anthem, as the senior team, and obviously your last match as well. Just extremely proud and extremely happy to obviously to have been given the opportunity first and foremost by the manager, and uh, as I said, extremely proud and looking forward to being part of uh, and encouraging the passing on my experience to some of the lads who've who've shown great enthusiasm. What I've seen the last few days, and there's there's some good good young kids coming through, and they're going to be they're going to be very impressive for the country and. Uh, it's going to be a joy for Martin, I'm sure, to, to be working with these boys because they're showing great enthusiasm to, first and foremost, come over and be part of what he's wanting to do. And then, obviously, as he said, kick on at club level, take on the mantle themselves, and I think they're up to it. Yeah, what's your assessment of the Ireland moving forward after you being in this, this squad for the last few days? You've been able to see some of the young players in the group, and as you mentioned there, you're one of the last senior pros as such. Um, to be retired, so the last young ones now need to go and try and take on that angle. Yeah, as I said, the f- first part, and uh, sometimes obviously it's questioned about different players and different things, but the players are here and willing to be here. That's that's the most important thing. They're showing the willingness to come over, travel, be part of it, and that's uh, as it always is the case. Brings in that the spirit in the group is continuing on, and that's a key factor. But there's there's some very good kids, and they're playing. Most importantly to keep playing in the highest level possible. The more players we have playing in the Premier League is going to be key key for us challenging and challenging for major tournaments to qualify. And that's the key to it. And obviously, giving the manager a headache of what team he has to pick, and that's always something the manager wants.